distribution system. So till now we have discussed transmission system. Okay, now what is distribution system? So we have discussed previously also transmission system. It it is usually over long distances and a large amount of power, right? From generating station. to the utilization area okay that means the area where the customers are actually present so this transfer of power this is called this is done by the transmission system okay so utilization is also it is often called as the load center okay now what is distribution system from the load center from the load center to the actual customers this is done by the distribution system so if you look at the transmission system like a long distance travel right your flights or trains right so what will be the distribution system the local transportation that we have we have buses autos right so the way in which we operate the train is going to be different from the way in which we operate the auto rickshaw right so that is how that is the difference between basically the transmission system and distribution system okay so we will discuss a little bit about distribution systems so uh, these systems they have two components one is the main feeder so this basically transmits power from the main substation so main substation is where the transmission system ends right so from this substation to secondary substations the second component is the distributor so this transmits power from the secondary substations to the actual customers okay from secondary substations to customers so since it is directly connected to the customers there is going to be a lot of lot of variation in load okay and it also has numerous tap off points okay and variable loading okay so that means voltage variations will be high okay so the system it should be suitably designed to work under this conditions so now we will discuss a few differences between the distribution transformer that means the transformer that is used in the distribution system and the power transformer okay so the transformer that is used in the transmission system so the first point is the operating voltage right so this operates at a lower voltage level and also lower power level so the voltage level usually will be about 6.6 kv or 230 volt okay and the power level it will be usually less than 200 mva mega volt ampere okay in the power transformer the voltage level is going to be higher similarly the power level so this will be in the range of 132 kv or 220 kv like that and the power level is more than 200 mva is considered a power transformer okay Now the second thing is the lower insulation level so this follows from the first point right because lower voltage level is there in distribution transformer lower insulation level is sufficient here there is going to be higher insulation level next the distribution transformer is, is going to have a lower efficiency okay here it is going to have a higher efficiency
and the next is here you have higher load fluctuations as it is directly connected to the customers here there is going to be lesser load fluctuations. And next thing is because there is so much load fluctuation see day and night there is going to be some difference in the power that we take right as customers. So what is going to happen the distribution transformer it is not operated at full load all through the day ok. So full loading is not done all day while this power transformer it operates on full load all the time. So these are some dis differences between the distribution and the power transformer.